What's up? I am Michael. And I... <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we gotta keep some of that for sure. I'm Michael. I'm Rossi and we are internet friends. We just shot 14 music videos in one month. It is almost 6 a.m. in the morning in Los Angeles. But to round everything off, we are going to answer a bunch of fan questions. So here we go. I don't think we're ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I'm all ready, baby. All right. If you could be a vegetable, what would I, what would I be? I wouldn't be a vegetable. Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat vegetables either, do you? I drink vegetables. Well, I eat five vegetables. Spinach, green beans, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I would not. Gonna, I, I, I almost don't consider that a vegetable, but we'll count it for the time being. I eat asparagus. I, I know I know I've eat, I've eaten asparagus. There you go. Asparagus is pretty good. I can't remember the fifth one. Onions. Uh, oh no, bell peppers. That's six. Six. Tell my wife. I eat six vegetables. Wait, aren't bell peppers technically a fruit? What's my favorite lyric off our first EP? Are you gonna are you gonna <laughs> make me feel pressured? I'm not a, I'm not the lyric guy. I like the delivery of the line, like I'm way too young to reminisce. Off Achilles heel. I just think like that whole section like for me like is super impactful with that line It's like my favorite moment off the EP. So yeah, there you go. Touch me <laughs> What's my worst habit? I think my wife would probably say picking my nose <laughs> I think my worst habit is pacing. I'm oh, like, you definitely I do pace that. badly. You definitely do I can't that. sit still. I can every day. nail an impression of you. Yeah, it's just Yep. And you go like this. Yep, yep, yep. Up and down. That's it. Absolutely nailed. Yeah. If we could live off one meal for the rest of our lives, what would it be? As of right now, should we say it at the same time? Three, two, one. Fat, fat burger. burger. Oh! <laughs> oh! World star! <laughs> That's the move right now, for sure. Shout out Fat Burger for making me fat. <laughs> nah. I think we're both, we're both wearing we're pants. We're both wearing pants. Yeah. But. Well, but hardly. Yeah. Yeah, Ross wears the pants. He wears the pants. Okay. Weez, Weez wears the pants. Weez, Weez do. We wear each other's pants. <laughs> we've, never, we've never done that. We definitely I don't know, you want to try it? You want to give a shot? We haven't, we've never done that. Never say never. <laughs> oh, bro. Fuck, man. The question was burgers or pizza. We just said fat burger. Huff, man. I'm going pizza. I'm it, going off what I want right now. Six in the morning and I want pizza. Pizza would be sick. Let's yeah. go back to Crossroads. Mm. Pizza at Crossroads is sick. It's, yeah, so, sort of. It's sick. It's vegan. <laughs> Describe the other person in three words. Funny. Good hair. <laughs> good and hair. If you split them up separately, good and hair. Describe the other person in three words. I would say... Cooler than me. Cooler than me. <laughs> For sure, co cooler than me. I would say creative. Oh, now you make me feel Driven. Like you're going down the nice road. Are oh, you making me feel like a And this dude's a 10 of 10 goofball, a goofy man, a I, comedian, this one. I, lo I love you. Okay. <laughs> I love you, bro. Favorite sport and team, probably uh, Houston Astros, and people are going to maybe give me shit for that. But Who's your favorite fine. player? Um, I mean, I don't really watch them. <laughs> Jose Altuve. I saw him at a restaurant once in Houston not that long ago. Did He's you? chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I watch sports, it's probably a baseball sport. Mm. The only sport I like is soccer, which correctly is called football. I support Bristol City, although I haven't watched them play for a while because we are losing. So, if I had a time machine, what concert would I go to? Before or after? Maybe Queen. <laughs> oh, the Live the Aid big, one. The big, yeah, the Live Aid one. <clears throat> the day of day. Yes, iconic. So sick. There's something about that moment, like watching the live videos. So many people, they're all singing along. And that didn't even account for the people that were watching on TV too, because it was like all broadcasted live too, wasn't it? I don't, I don't know. Live I wasn't, I wasn't I'm pretty there. sure it was. I wasn't there. Yeah. I don't think there's any concert or show before I was born that I wished I was at. That would have been a good one. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick that one. Been oh, I've that got the time. best answer. Sure. Where was it? The one that caught fire? Uh, Woodstock 99? Woodstock 99. Watching Limbus getting corn. That's where I'd go. Yeah. I would start a fire. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> Favorite 90s singer? Oasis Leo Gallagher. That's a good one. We knew that was going to be the answer. Who do I like from the 90s? I was an early 2000s kid, big time. Do an early 2000s one then. Favorite 2000s, early 2000s singer? Mm. Uh, probably Avril. Avril Lavigne. Good answer. I'd say, for sure. I like Avril. Just so many hits. She Still killing it. Definitely hits. Yeah. What's my secret talent or party trick? 
finger skateboarding. Oh, nice. I don't think you know that tech, about me. Tech deck? Yeah, I'm actually quite good at it. That's awesome. Like, I can do like a kickflip on demand. Nice. I used to be pretty good at it a long time ago when yeah. I was a lot younger. Hidden party tricks. Fuck, man, I'm not that sick. Why am I not that sick? <laughs> Help me out. I'm like so bad at like answering questions on the spot. You're quite good at remembering numbers. That's a weird one. And license plates. Yeah, I'll remember your license plate for sure. <laughs> that was creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Where would I go on holiday right now? Or as you guys say, and, vacation. And what would I put in my suitcase? Yeah. I go to I go to Tokyo in a heartbeat. Sure. I'm gonna join you, so you are gonna put me in the suitcase. I would bring like me in a suitcase. Him in a suitcase. <laughs> I would check him. Definitely have to check me. <laughs> if I could be a character from Star Wars, who would I be? Oh man. Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi with the black suit and the green saber. That's my favorite Star Wars Luke. Job of the Hut, next question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine he was a slug. <laughs> I could. Look at, look at me. Oh, that's Ooh, a good question. What's your favorite tattoo on me? On Is you? It, no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> At the moment, I, like, I can't even show it. But I have a, a, a lady head right here. I've seen it. In my ditch. She's not lying. It's uh, my newest tattoo, so I'm very fond of it. My favorite tattoo is a house party tattoo of my wife's name on my ankle. I purposely spelt her name wrong and she hates it. <laughs> so good. That's iconic, dude. <laughs> my favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla and it will never ever change. I'm a chocolate chip cookie dough guy myself. Chocolate chip cookie dough any day of the week is absolutely my favorite for sure. How did we meet Michael? <laughs> the internet. <laughs> Uh, are we gonna go into full detail? Sure, mm. we can go into full detail. I started writing songs in 2020. I started scrolling TikTok. I was scrolling TikTok for a good like 18 months. And then this guy's face just popped up. We met up and so I went over to Austin. We recorded like six, four, five, six demos in the end. And I, I just remember being in that spare room. It was yeah. just real magic. And I just knew that this was gonna be something. I don't know what, but I just knew you. I, I, I had to follow it. Here we are, almost a year later. So that's us. Uh, what is my favorite movie? My favorite movie right now is probably The Wolf of Wall Street. That's a great movie. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but Crazy Stupid Love. That's good. I love that's that a, movie. That is, a, that is a good movie. Yeah, I'm not much of a movie guy, but that, that has so much replay value for me. That's the other thing I love about you. You're like one of the only other guys that I've met that loves rom-coms. Oh yeah, no shame, dude. I love uh, all that stuff. What was my first concert growing up? My first concert was the Backstreet Boys. And I was like eight or nine years old, I think. Yeah, it was right when Millennium <clears> came <throat> out. That like changed my life, kinda. It's yeah. Sick. I'm pretty jealous of that one. Yeah. I wish mine was Backstreet Boys. My first concert ever, I was seven years old and I went to see Bon Jovi. And I got so excited at the concept of live music that I went to the toilet three times during the first song and nothing came out. And I, I remember coming back and sitting in the stands and just being like, what is happening to my body? And Bon Jovi is I'll tell like, you what's it's not happening. <laughs> what is my spirit animal? I don't have one. You don't have a spirit animal? I don't think so. Everyone says I'm a sloth. Yeah. So we'll go with sloth. Slothy slug. But I don't want to be a sloth. I just am one, you know? Mm -hmm. Cats. Dogs or cats? The question was dogs or cats? Mm. And the answer for me is cats. Yeah, I'm gonna go dogs. I'm a dog, you're a cat. Yeah. Cats Actually, no, it would be the other way around. You're a dog and I'm a cat. I'd be a dog? I don't know. Maybe we're both cats. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd be a dog-cat hybrid. Would we be cat-dog? If we could be cat-dog. So are you the head or, or the ass? I'll be the ass. Thank you. <laughs> are you a summer or a winter person? I'm a winter person for sure. I love the winter. If you're cold, you can always make yourself warmer. Yeah, true. But if, it's you're, tough. if you're too hot, there isn't really much you can do. Do you know what you I mean? You only take off so much. You can't take off your skin. You, I have tried. What's our favorite music videos that we've made so far and why? I really love the Achilles Heel, Heel music video just because it's so like vibrant and like crazy. It was the first one we did on this trip. It was like really cool like seeing all that kind of like unfold. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you recently? I shit my pants on Zoom. That happened. <laughs> that happened. Right before we got on a call with uh, our producer, Matt, for the first time. <laughs> for the first time! We're like so excited to like, you know, get the ball rolling and Ross is like late for the call because he shit his pants straight up. Really happened. So good. I don't, I don't think Matt knows that. I think you told him. Did I? I think you told that him. That sounds like something I do. You ever shit your pants? Have I ever shit my pants? No. It's been a minute. <laughs> 
Well, the night is young. We don't know what's gonna happen in the next hour, so. Coke or Pepsi? Should we do this on three? Yeah. One, two, three, Coke. Coke. Easy. Diet Pepsi kind of slaps, though. So. I love Coke. Yeah. Ooh, I, oh. Popper, the question was, the question was pop or R&B. That's tough. I'm a sucker for R&B. Um, I'm a sucker for pop. God, I love pop music, though. That's like, ugh, it's so tough. Pop. I'm an R&B guy right now, for sure. Yeah. What's your all-time favorite song when you want it to fuck shit up? Limp Bizkit Break Stuff. It's a good song. Mm-hmm. Don't make love to it. Don't, don't do that. It doesn't go as well as you think. I'm gonna give a shout out to my friends in uh, Mortal Reminder, a song Ooh. called Thorn. It's a crazy song. We're internet friends. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Peace out.